might be third because uh, most of his dojo wins. And that's how you do the placements. But nevertheless, we got game one here. We got the uh, Zika Mario coming out against the Serac Link. And it's pretty. Ah, God, I hate it. It's... No, what's up, music? I'm not music. Metal? Yeah, I was like. Like, that's what let's put him to sleep there. <laughs> hey guys, so we uh, match in progress game one? Yep, game one. We got uh, Ziga versus Serac. I have not seen Serac play since uh, that first tournament, that big one. Uh, Smash Out? Yeah, that one. Yeah, still he good. was very godlike then. I assume he still is. Nothing's changed since then. <laughs> yeah, so no, I, I want to be. He sure hasn't suddenly you know, gotten terrible. He hasn't okay. just <laughs> fell off the face of the earth. Strike <laughs> was a really good player in uh, Smash Four with the same character, but now his character just got better. So and Serac surely didn't get worse. Link mains, you know, they knew this day was coming. Well, they they had faith yeah. uh, through <laughs> through all like these days. through every Smash game in history. The Link mains had one faith. One of these days, my character is going to be pretty smoking. <laughs> so uh, Zika has been playing Mario more lately. Do you know? Is this like? A potential new main or just something he wants to... This is definitely a confirmed new main. He's confirmed. Confirmed. confirmed new main. So giving up Jigs and DK or...? No, no, not main. As in main main, but like... Uh, <laughs> like not. Okay. He only plays those two characters. So As a tertiary main. Maybe trifecta? Okay. Yeah, yeah I got you. Because I know he co-mains uh, DK and Jigglypuff. Yeah. So maybe this would be the trifecta or just the pocket. But so far, Srak is... <laughs> <laughs> pretty, yeah, it was pretty yeah. close. Pretty Doing close. just fine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's a, that was uh, the second stock from Zeke. I did not see that. Yeah. Maybe I was too busy distracted by uh, Ada's outside commentary. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were giving you some shit before I came out on yeah. the mic up there. They're jerks. We don't need them. Um, yeah, oh, finds a forward smash. No tech there. Going to be the downfall of uh, some expert stock. But he has a whole nother stock to work with. And hypothetically, like, Mario should be able to do some decent stuff in this matchup, I would think, just with Cape Reflection and Cape Gimps. Yeah. But, you know, theory and practice are two different things, and Serac is just like a wall right now. Yeah, and he's, you see he's throwing out much less projectiles. He's throwing out the bomb, because if he capes bomb, he won't get much off of it. He'll just send the bomb probably back towards the ground. That's a good point. It's an interesting change with Link's bomb in this game with the detonate. It's like if you reflect it, he's kind of like, okay. Ooh. Great edge guard tool. Don't even have to go off stage. Oh, and the boomerang. Setting saved yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> Saving grace right there. Oh, I thought we were looking at a shield. Doesn't matter. Up B. Yeah, shield. Yep. That's Serac's, that's Serac's bread and butter right there. That'll be out of shield. You know, it seems like this game with how much crappier shields are, which I actually like. I'm not complaining. Um, but it seems like characters that have solid up out of shield are like even better than they usually are. Yeah. Uh, the up the out of shield because in this game it's a lot more aggressive than Smash 4 was. Smash 4 was all about the shield, don't yeah. get me wrong, but in this game it's still about having that shield. But people are pressing buttons uh, like 10 times more than they were in Smash yeah. 4. Yeah, well, it's like you know, shield grab got the frame data nerf, and then shields themselves just take so much more damage and deplete quicker. So it's like if you can just shield and be like, get the hell off me with an uppy, you know, your Bowser's, um, Link, Marth, all the sword characters pretty much. Yeah, that yeah, is a pretty good to utility to have. In mind. Especially with those characters, like you said, that have those aggressive upbeats that can be used on stage. It's like an extra layer of defense. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like the sure you can of this game, sort of, yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. get out of my backyard, quit flipping burgers. I'm, try <laughs> <laughs> I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to tan back here. You gotta be really careful about pressuring some of these character shields. But right now, we got the game two coming out on Smashfield. Maybe I, I, I know that Ziga loves this platform right here. It's perfect for extending Mario combos. Oh, I'm glad you said that because I was wondering, you know, normally I see um, more defensive characters use this platform as like a roof. But Mario's ladder combos, that makes sense. He gets a jump refresh and even more damage. Yeah, no, I'm Flood! I'm sure he Save did not want to see um, Battlefield. Ooh. Because just the way that Link's sword covers the platform so well on Battlefield makes it a, kind of a hard time for Mario to land, even though it does extend uh, Mario's combos. But on this stage, the platform is much bigger, much more uh, wiggle room. Link definitely with the realest sword he's ever had, so he gets a little of that of a uh, little of that Marth. I get to love Battlefield stages, you know, yeah. th that he's been missing out on in every other game with that dinky little sword he had. Nah, that sword, it, it, it hurts. It's a real sword. Congratulations, Link. It only took you like oh, 20 years. He, he went for it. He, he definitely went for it. Oof. And that's there's that up right there, we were talking about. The hero spinning out of shield, going to kill coast to coast there. <laughs> Is that that move's name, Hero Hero Spin? Uh, is that real? So. Interesting. Yeah. That's what it is. I'm really bad with like in, official uh, move names. It's what it's called in most of his uh, Zelda games. It's called Hero Spin. I mean, and he's a hero. He's yeah, spinning. and he spin. <laughs> 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 and I don't know what else they call it. It's the most generic name <laughs> that we're gonna give it. I mean, everybody else is called it. 
<laughs> oh, this could be, yeah, this could be death. Yep. Nice fireball game. Great. This is a totally different game. Yeah, 180 full adjustment from Ziga. Well, you know, I don't know. With Link's skill power, though, it's like, depending on what we see on this next combo for Mario, I think we're going to see. Yeah, no, we're going to get a ladder. No way. Never mind. Let's see what this edge guard leads to. I, man, those bombs are just so obnoxious. They do they do a great job of just con of just demanding stage control and demanding respect because they can just go off at any moment. It's cool that Link gets to have abilities that are useful. Yeah. Like it's it's just it's as annoying as it is to be zoned out by stuff like that. You're like, you know what, Link? I'm proud of you, baby. Mom is a like, <laughs> oh my God, falls out of the last of the upbeat. It's not fun to deal with though. Yeah. It's just like, what do you do? It's a free edge guard tool at the same time. So far, Strax recoveries have been pretty good, um, but Ziga's just winning the War of Attrition regardless. Oh my god, misses the punish. That would have definitely been the uh, game right there. Yeah, we had a roll off on the roof there for a second. Okay, so he threw the bomb and he got hit by the fireball. Oof. But the uh, bomb did not explode. Uh, fire, fire property moves are supposed to detonate bomb automatically. Bye. Ah, that's, yeah, I forgot about that, you're right. I, I, don't, I don't know what the reason for it there was. I guess, uh, Probably weird hitbox collision or Z-axis stuff. Yeah, if you don't know, that's what I blame everything on. <laughs> yeah. It's the safe option. Yeah. Not just sure why. Probably Z-axis. I don't know. Just like the uh, hero spin. All right. No. Oh, oh my gosh. And that's been two really big missed punishes from Ziga that probably could have won the game already. And it's going to be a real shame if that bites him here. Yeah, because Link hits hard already. You do not want to give him rage. Yep. Oh, nice parry, but he doesn't get the second hit. Oh, my God. The range combo with the uh, boomerang into the arrow. And he's going for these F-tilts. He knows that they'll kill. Ziga suddenly on the ropes, you know, on what looked like a sure win. Yeah. And uh, he has to be careful here. He doesn't want to see one of these heroes spin. Back, the back throw should kill here, right? It should kill. Okay. On ledge, it definitely kill. Yeah. So, Shrek doing a really good job, though, of avoiding that grab, man. I feel like any lesser player would have already been grabbed <laughs> and killed by now. And does he have the bomb? He does, okay. Yeah, he's holding it. That's a blessing that the bomb cannot be detonated while yeah. it's in the hand. Or oh, geez, Louise. Oh. Bomb might have been a saving grace. Oh, he has to go high, and there right, it is. He finds good it. Good option there. Going for uh, the guaranteed down smash. Yeah, super smart because had Srek um, tried to go to the ledge, as a lot of people do after situations like that, it would have caught him on the way down. And it, still, it covered both, you know, basically an option select um, in that down smash. I don't know if you saw, but after... Uh, he let the uh, down smash loose. He up tilted just to cover the if he like right a stalled above him. I did not see that. Yeah. That's very that's very cash. So I was watching uh, Ziga to see what he was doing after, and he was like, "Oh, that's up tilt." Dude, I definitely would have just tried to like maybe hit him with the uh, up B, but he went really high, so he probably would have just tried to stall above the ledge. Take the guaranteed thing, right? If you have a guaranteed thing that covers several options, like why not? You know. But he's got it's clearly a lot of lab work from Ziga with stuff like that, because someone who was saying Quilly was saying something about. Where Ziga's doing some sort of attempted grab into a rest option select, where like if he misses the grab, he just rests immediately yeah. or some, something like that. Like, uh, it's like that's pretty hot, man. Like to catch you trying to punish uh, Jigglypuff, one of Jigglypuff's options. I seen it happen. Um, I was I believe I was commentating that set when he did it. He, uh, Ziga did a move and then he just immediately rested after. Yeah. Catch, catch really trying <laughs> oh, to oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it is. So here we are, town and city now. The stage whose platforms move for some reason, even though Smashville's doesn't anymore. Yeah. Nintendo makes no sense. Don't question it. Down Whips the city. grab. It's like discount uh, Kalos. It has a big enough. The stage is big enough so off, uh, where if Link's off stage, he may be able to uh, use the bomb for Ooh. recovery and tech a little bit easier than some of the other stages. And then the platforms leave, so it becomes FD. Which is probably better for Link, yeah? Better when they're Link. gone? Yep. And it, but better for Mario when they're out, yeah. Better for Mario. Definitely a lot better for Mario when they're out. Because the platforms are a little higher, so that Link's sore. Like, it just might not be able to cover platforms with up to, like, he will on Battlefield and uh, Smashville. Shrek is so good at these little, like, one-off um, condition punishes. Um, well, finds the DI there. Really good job. Like, there's been several times where Shrek has just kind of done a thing, stood still, and then just, like, casually F-tilted or F-smashed Mario. Yeah, and he's going to get caught with the, uh, the fair... The aggressive fair on stage, going to kill Ziga coast to coast. Probably caught him uh, trying to DI away. Oh, no gimp for Mario. No, I'm trying to Pixels die. away. Oh, oh my was, god. That was really <laughs> good awareness, knowing that even though the bomb hit at the trajectory that it sent them, he was negative. Yeah, Shrek, I think, turned that bomb into a trampoline and just snatched Mario right, right out of the He's air. He's like, oh, you're going to press a button here because you're close to me. And he <laughs> just shield it and shield grab it. 
Yeah, Link having a real shield grab now, like, also pretty cash for him, definitely. Yes, a lot better than the super laggy other <laughs> grab. <laughs> oh, the clank. Nice air dodge there from Ziga. Right. Oh, okay, that was a good. That was a pretty ballsy down smash, actually, I feel like, right? Like, he probably could have got a turn around F tilt if he blocked that. Caught him trying to jump over. But definitely, if it gets Oof. hit, he gets caught. But right now, Serac is running away with this game. And that's three. exactly what I'm talking about. Like, he just kind of walks up and he's like, F tilt. And it, <laughs> I know exactly what you're going to do, F tilt. That's it. It's like he just gets close and he just covers a portion of the stage. It's like you have to. You have to respect it or you will die. And I think that's the real advantage when you play a character, um, well, when you play a character well, like uh, Shrek plays Link or uh, any other kind of like zoning character, you really get to read your opponent more than you do with a non-zoning character because they're constantly making decisions. Exactly. Um, and there's also the fatigue aspect, right? Like, um, as long as you can not be too fatigued by what you're throwing out. Oh, my, oh my God! God! <laughs> and <Ziga> risked it all. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was it. Ziga risked it all. Speaking of fatigue, Ziga was tired of me talking and decided to end the match. <laughs> Holy crap. Smack's going to go 2 1 over Ziga. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I, want to, I really wanted to see that match be played out a little bit more. Unfortunate that uh, that he kill, killed himself there. That's always been the bane of Mario, right? Like, y <laughs> you have this sweet fair and, like, the crappiest recovery in the world. <laughs> and, the fair is, and the fair is so laggy, dude.